Hello everybody, welcome to Dude with a Fork. My name is Ken. On today's episode of Ken Cook Stuff, I'm going to show you how to make Sloppy Joe's a full meal for four with just half a pound of ground beef. It's simple and it's economical. It makes that ground beef stretch further. So let's get started. All right, and our first ingredient is going to be this half pound, perfectly eight ounce package of ground beef, which I uh, put in an ordinary Ziploc bag and froze. And you can tell, I just did this the other day. I didn't get all the, the air out of it because there's a little bit of frost in there. I actually did five of these from that package of, of um, ground beef. And I pulled this one first because it had the most frost. I figured, well, we'll, we'll get it before it's really got a lot of um, freezer burn in it. I did not use my um, uh, food saver vacuum sealer because um, I knew I would be cooking these right away. So we're gonna get, this is eight ounces. And you notice I, I flattened it out so it thaws really quickly. We're gonna get a full package of Sloppy Joes out of this. And you're wondering, but wait, 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 wait. This says in tiny little print. Um, yeah, full pound of ground beef. How are we gonna do that? This is how we're gonna do it. Baked beans, mmm. So let's head over to the stove. I'll get this browned up and join me when we're getting ready to put all the rest of the stuff together. See you then. All right, and uh, we had a little camera issue, so I missed part of this, but I had added, um, I browned off the ground beef and I drained some, but not all of the fat because I think part of the reason those, those uh, Sloppy Joe's in the school lunchroom taste so good is that there's always a layer of fat floating on top um, because fat is flavor. And what I did was I drained the, the baked beans into this measuring cup. And then because there's liquid in the baked beans and I wasn't sure how much. So then I just added enough water to get up to one and a quarter cups liquid total. And the recipe calls for three tablespoons on the back of this packet, three, or sorry, six, six ounce jar, six ounce can of tomato paste. I went in and added three tablespoons from a tube because there's some tomato in the beans as well. And then I went ahead and added my packet of Sloppy Joe seasoning mix um, and stirred that in because I find it's a little bit easier to get that all mixed in before I've added any liquid. Uh, it just prevents you from getting any lumps. So I'm going to go ahead and add my combined bean liquid and water. And then I will get that stirred up. And you do have to let this simmer for a little bit. And that's looking kind of thick already because of the uh, liquid from the, the baked beans. So I'm going to let this simmer for a bit and then I'll add the baked beans in at the last moment just so that I don't break them up too much. So I'm going to simmer this for, what does the packet tell us? Uh, simmer 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Serve on hamburger buns. So um, I will be back in 10 minutes. Okay. And the sound of that timer means we are done simmering. You can see this has gotten really nice and thick here. Um, that looks beautiful. So I'm just going to add our beans in and bring those up to temperature. And the beans I'm using um, are actually, if you're from the Midwest, you'll know this name. They're from Menards. Um, they're, actually, they're actually the Menards house brand. I'm trying to get every little last bit of juice out of there. All right, they're the um, Chippewa Valley Farms pork and beans and tomato sauce. Uh, and they do not have uh, high fructose corn syrup or anything like that in here. So um, I forget how much I paid for them. I'll have to look it up, but I'm just gonna bring this up to temperature and then I'm gonna plate up and I will meet you at the table. No forks needed for this one, folks. And here we go. Um, 
This is supposed to make eight servings. I didn't quite fill up a lot here, so this might I might get nine or ten out of this. I don't know. Um, my favorite way of eating sloppy joes is with some pickle slices on top. Sometimes I like to put a slice of American cheese on there. And these pickles are Aldi pickles. Uh, just the dill pickle slices. So let's give this a try. Oh, gosh. That looks good. Of course, it's not a sloppy joe unless it's leaking out of the bun, right? That's why it's sloppy. Hmm. Well, there we go. Yep, probably too small a bun. Pro tip, I figured this out uh, when I did a version of this for tacos. Uh, if you don't want all those beans to fall out, take a potato masher and mash up some of those beans. It's gonna help everything hold together really, really well. Um, you'll see that in my next video where I make uh, tacos for a family of four with just a half pound of ground beef and a can of chili beans. That's coming up next week. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. Except for the fact that I, I put too much in there probably, which is why it's leaking all out. But that is absolutely amazing. Mm. Is there anything that baked beans doesn't make better? I mean, it's, it's messy, yes. Um, but wow, that is so good, especially with that pickle. The pickle helps cut the sweetness of the... Um, beans just a little bit. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is so good. Um, um, I was going to have one. I'm going to have two. That's really, really good. So um, it is messy. So have lots of napkins available. What can I say? You got to try this. Great way to extend uh, half a pound of burger. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Um, if you try this, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, this turned out better than I expected. It's really amazing. So I'm just uh, I'm definitely going to add this to my regular rotation going forward. So um, again, thank you so much for watching me and supporting me here on YouTube. If you like this content and want to see more, please uh, like, uh, comment, and or subscribe. It's all free. Um, I also have a website, which I will link down below where you can get a printable version of this recipe. And uh, again, appreciate your watching. Thanks so much. Have a great day and power to the proletariat. See you next time.